the emotional attachment some people have to a car. Even after that car is long gone, the memories can linger, and sometimes those memories border on obsession, as was the case for a young mom in Ontario County who is someone you should know. Heidi Welsh has a thing for Mustangs. One Mustang in particular. What are your strongest memories of that car from when you were young? Dreaming to drive it. Sitting and pretending that I was just the coolest girl in the world driving it <laughs> with the T-tops off. It was her great uncle's car, but Heidi's parents would store it for him, and she would sit in it and dream. So one day your great uncle, uh, Bob, yep. sells the car. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. He always told me it didn't. It had too much power for me, and that it was too much. I would never be able to drive it, and I always wanted to prove him wrong. <laughs> and you never got that chance. No. That was 17 years ago. Now, as a mother of three on a tight budget, even if she could find that old car, buying it would be out of the question. And after all, it's just a car, a puke green V8. She says. Just like the one in this Craigslist ad, an ad Heidi's boyfriend found while surfing on his iPad a few months ago. He flipped it around and my heart dropped. It was the car. It was Uncle Bob's Mustang. The color, the old Virginia registration, and a dent in the back were all she needed to know it was the car. And it was only a few miles away in Seneca Falls, that car is now in Heidi's garage. With help from some friends, she bought it. And she surprised her Uncle Bob at a family wedding this fall. I got it just so I could show you. <laughs> you are kidding. Every time I go out to the garage, I don't think she's really there. <laughs> I walk up like, hello, how are you? Oh, one more thing. The day Heidi bought the car, she found a tape in the cassette player it was one of her mixtapes from when she was a girl. One of the tapes she used to play when she'd sit in this car and dream that it might be hers one day. Some people might say to you, it's just a car. It's not just a car. It's a dream that I've had since I was little. So. And it's come true. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, I loved Heidi's story, if only for her refusal to give up on this dream. This was something that she meant so much to her, and uh, now she and her dad are planning to get ready, to get it ready to go on the road in the spring. I was going to ask you, because Uncle Bob didn't drive it that much, did he? No, not a lot. I think it's got 52,000 miles on it. It needs some work, but to her, it's a work of art. The green machine. Does she have a name for it? I don't know. I didn't ask her that. We should yeah, ask that her that. That would be interesting yeah, to know. Up. Great story.